Starbucks on the right. Then Today, the right. off to another food spot, and it's called Lian's Village. So it's a Taiwanese, uh, famous for beef noodle soup. I had beef soup yesterday, but this is a different kind of beef noodle soup. So I'm excited to try it. Actually, no, sorry, let me take that back. I have tried it, but I'm excited to try it again because it's just that good. And then there's a Starbucks nearby as well. Um, Starbucks Reserve. This is the only one around here. I know that the uh, previously back in New York in Chelsea, there's a Starbucks Reserve and it's so beautiful, so big. The one here is just like a regular, a regular Starbucks. So this is Starbucks Reserve.
and sprouts. Looking for, what are you trying to get? Probably arugula. See if there's any arugula. To another cafe we go! Another day, turn another right cafe. Then turn Today right we're going to Bitter and Sweet. Oh, they could have went to this parking lot. Um, but yes, so this is a kind of like a plaza area that has another favorite Don't Taiwanese spot of mine uh, called Hanling. But today we just ate already, so no food, but we are going to the cafe instead. And then there's also a Hong Kong bakery that is also located in this area as well. That is also really good. So they have like some uh, like dentist um, offices here and then hair salon. But the coffee shop that I like, it's right over here. Bitter and sweet. Change of mind, not going to the cafe. So now it's another day, another supermarket. We're actually going to the market. Turns out we need onions. So we're going to this um, kind of like a farmer's market spot. It's like a smaller supermarket, uh, but they're, they're very good deals and they have great and fresh produce. So we'd be going there instead. There was one time where I um, uh, went there and they were selling this huge box of bananas for, was it a, like $4? And there were just so many bananas in the end. We didn't know what to do with it. We, before it went bad, we decided to make banana bread, so. You're gonna notice that my week consists of a bunch of different supermarkets since moving here. Just to show Lily, uh, what kind of supermarket they have in, in SF. They, we don't, they don't have the supermarket that we have uh, back in New York. So they basically this is what they have. For the New Yorkers, uh, these are the markets they have here. Yes. H K Mark, H Mark, 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 Mark. Well, H Mark, they they have that in New York, but they they have like a. Yeah, they're gonna. This is the only similar one that they have. No, but the funny thing is, their Kmart here is not Kmart like in New York. Their Kmart here is Korean supermarket. This is the box of bananas I'm talking about. Oh, today is $2.99 and a lot of bananas. And of course, we're gonna get it. <laughs> and then more banana bread. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wait, I need to get a cart. Ooh, I I want to make my neck. Like I mentioned, a very small market. heading to Wanpo Tea. This is a tea shop that uh, has, it has, so the drink that I normally get there uh, is the sugar cane tea. Um, it's not, it's not overly sweet. It is just right and refreshing. That is one of my favorite teas that I get from Wanpo Tea Shop. And the, the aesthetic inside the tea shop is, it, it brings back memories of like old school Chinese pharmacy type of vibes. You'll check it out. This is usually how our schedule is like day to day. Very spontaneous, uh, no plans, just we just wing it. As you can already tell today, ba based on my schedule today, we was supposed to go to one tea shop, decided to not go to that tea shop, go to the market, and now going to another tea shop. So that's that's usually how it goes. Just wing it. That's how I use that's how I live my life, I guess. Spontaneous, just do it. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. Wanpo! There is the tea shop. This is the tea shop. It's a Taiwanese boba spot. I usually 
get the sugar cane. Oh, this is usually the tea I get. Should I get that? So this is the sugar cane bao zong tea. Got it large, no ice, because it's kind of chilly today. And then 50% sugar. This is the Apple Visitor Center. This is another another place I will show you guys next time. Uh, that's also where I like getting my coffee from. They have very good coffee, very inexpensive. And right there on the left is the Big Circle HQ, where the main Apple headquarters is. So it's right there. But yes, this is where I come for coffee. It's another coffee spot that I like. I have a lot of different uh, cafes that I hop around in uh, in the area, but this is uh, this is my Coming top for East coffee. Homestead. Got takeout. This is the pork cutlet. Another item that we got from Lian's for takeout. This is the chicken cutlet rice. All right, this is all the bananas. Don't know what to do with it, so mom is gonna be making banana bread tonight with all this $2.99 banana. <laughs> She's getting these bananas not because she really wants to make banana bread. I feel like it's because the deal is too good. So she's like, I must get the bananas because she can't resist getting, getting that good $2.99 deal. Baking that banana bread. How long is it being baked for? 20 minutes? 16 minutes. This is buckwheat banana bread. Look at that. It looks like a it looks like a chocolate bread. Look at that banana goodness. Separating all the banana bread into Ziploc bags. Here it is. Here are the rest of the bananas. I guess there will be more banana bread we'll be making.